Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm all right. Good. So, tell me about this coffee card. Apart from the love of coffee, what else are you doing? Right. Well, for a long time, I've been fairly concerned that um, the media portrays the church as being pretty judgmental and maybe not very caring. Um, so I saw this idea of pay it forward coffees in a different area and um, I thought maybe we could adapt it a little bit to be able to um, present something to the Kayama community that was a, that was a gift. Um, no strings attached, but something that um, gave a sense of care from our church through a, maybe a coffee cart. So the original pay it forward is that it's completely anonymous. It's mm -hmm. a voucher stuck on a wall or a post-it note. Yeah. And people self-select. They just go and take it off the board and they don't know who it's from. Mm -hmm. And I, I like that idea, but... Um, I thought we, we could just adapt it a little bit so that it was more coming from the church. So how, how have you modified it or how do you plan to modify it for us? Right. Well, um, we're going to try having cards attached to a voucher mm -hmm. um, to say this is a gift of Kayama Anglican and it's a token of love for a neighbour. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. So you've got the card and the voucher, then how does the whole thing come together and how does it work? Yeah, okay. So firstly, some cards will be left with people that we trust to hand them out. So the salvos at their shop, they see people who are in need um, or people who come in regularly that might need some encouragement or feeling a bit down and would appreciate the small luxury of a yeah. coffee um, or you know, someone who's troubled that they might know. So secondly, some cards will be available at the church for members to take if they know somebody, maybe who hasn't been to church for a while, who hasn't come back since we've reopened, um, or they could be used by people at church to take a friend out to coffee. Um, the idea is that it's not just the coffee, it's, it's deliberately offering prayer for somebody or engaging with them to, to get to know them a little bit spiritually, on a mm -hmm. spiritual level. Mm -hmm. um, and it's to let them know that the church cares. Um, so the vouchers will indicate the coffee shop where they're available right. to right. be purchased. So how do we get it going? What's the next step? Well, we would like people to start thinking about donating. Um, it's about $5 for a coffee in town at the moment. Mm -hmm. So maybe collect gold, your gold coins, your spare $5 notes, um, and then we can pre-purchase some cards and attach the cards mm -hmm. and get ready. Um, you can bring some money. We'll have some something set up in the foyer after church or you can um, direct debit to the church. The bank details are yep. in the bulletin. Um, and just to make it clear, this is not to interrupt or interfere with our Anglicare and our Berkeley giving. Um, so we don't want to take away from those funds. This is just to give a little bit extra if you have it. Okay. Um, and we'll have some more um, ideas on how to use the cards over the next few weeks. And it'll just be a short term project um, in the lead up to the end of the year. Right, lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. Yay.